Okay, I got a... See, I'm running discrimination on here. I got just a little bitty window notched out for nickels, and I and so it, hopefully that's all it's going to find. I know it'll find trash too, but I'm just saying I'm not running it wide open. Okay, I got what's eh, hitting fairly close to a nickel signal. See 12, 13. It probably jump around a little bit, but 12, 13, 12, 13. Staying on 12, 13, pretty good. Jump around a little bit. Get the AT Pro. Okay. Got the AT Pro in uh, the coins mode. Pro coins mode. 35 iron discrimination. I mark that target so I, I know I'm going over the center of it. I don't know, but it's not. Hear how scratchy that sounds? And, man, if you were detecting along, you'd probably just write that off as trash, but. Fifty-six, fifty-two, fifty-eight, forty-eight, fifty-five, fifty-seven. 52, 58, 48, 55, 57. In all reality, if I was just detecting in the park or something looking for coins, I wouldn't dig this signal. Because, I mean, you're going to have probably hundreds of these type signals in a trashy park. See how it's jumping all over the place, 70s, 40s, so now they don't even want to hit it. I, pro I for sure wouldn't dig this signal if I just had the AT Pro, so let's dig it out. E-Track gave a lot better signal on it. And you know, it, it could be trash, who knows, but I just had the E-Track gave it a lot better signal better and more stable signal. I don't suspect it's real deep. I can see it already. It's a coin. Okay. It was down there pretty good though. There you go. It was a nickel. And uh, see the E-Track hit on it. Hit on it pretty solid. And uh, just to be honest about it, I ain't trying to trash the AT Pro, but that signal was jumping all over, it was static -y. You you probably wouldn't even tell it from trash. So there it is right there. It was, I don't know, four inches deep maybe. Okay, I got another signal with E-Track. It's, it's kind of iffy, but... It doesn't show real deep. This shows like could be mask or something. Twelve forty-five, eighteen forty-five, ten forty-four. But it sounds good. We'll go with the age of probably put a blue mark right there, so I know where the center of it's at. So. 83, 26, 4, 99, 0, 0, 0, 26, 81, 4, 83, 0, 0, 0, 1, 82, 83, 76, okay, jumping all over the place.
I know it's right there where that blue's at, so let's try to pinpoint it. Problem is, it seems like you can't pinpoint anything. Same target. See how much better it sounds? Now I'm going to pinpoint it with the E-Track. No doubt. All right, let's dig it out. Let's see what we got. Okay, it's a coin. I see it already. This looks like a regular. It's just a regular. Get it out of there. It's just a regular penny. Got another signal here. This one doesn't seem very deep. Let's see what we got. E track. It's locked in at 1136 area, 1137. That's a Okay, it's AT Pro time. Same directions, everything. Okay, jumping all over the place. K2, 70s, 42, 77, 59, 62, 60, 78. See the signals sounds real scratchy, it's jumping all over the place. There was nothing, I mean, the signal wasn't real clear or anything, it was just. Uh, jumping all over the place. 
I know this target ain't that deep. Crusty zinc. Yeah, it's just a crusty zinc penny. But still, it was only an inch deep. It shouldn't have been jumping all over like that. <laughs>